North Korea launches another ballistic missile as China holds more military drills, signaling to some the country could be ready to invade Taiwan. Joining us with more is China expert columnist and author Gordon Chang. Good morning, Gordon. There is fear and confusion. Uh, yesterday, North Korea did launch a missile that triggered evacuation warnings on the Japanese island of Hokkaido. How close do you think North Korea is right now to test a nuclear weapon? You know, many people have expected that they would have done so uh, last year. Um, I actually think that they're going to hold off a little bit because they've got so many problems at home right now. Kim Jong-un has so much to do in terms of his economy, in terms of feeding people. Um, if he detonates a nuclear device, which he probably will do sometime in the future, um, that's going to trigger um, renewed attention from the Biden administration. That's the last thing that the regime in Pyongyang wants. Yeah, which makes you wonder why he even decided to do these launches that he's that he's been doing lately and, and obviously raising tension and risks destabilizing our security there. Japan, one of our closest allies. How should the U.S. and Japan be responding at this point? Well, we should have been should, we should be doing what we should have been doing a decade ago, and that is actually enforcing the sanctions we have in place. We know that the North Koreans have been using, for instance, the Chinese banking system to launder money. Um, and we allow the Chinese banks to do this. We know exactly what's going on. We could stop this. Um, but because of various reasons, including wanting to please China, we allow the North Koreans to run money through New York. We didn't allow Pablo Escobar to do this. We didn't allow Osama bin Laden to do this. Why are we allowing China to launder North Korean money that they're using for these missile tests and for developing their nuclear weapons? Especially at a time when China's president declared that China was ready to fight after several days of combat exercises around Taiwan. How close do you think China is to an invasion? I don't think that China is close to an invasion, but I think China is engaging in acts which could cause war. So, for instance, there are these extremely dangerous intercepts in the global commons of uh, U.S. and, for instance, Australian patrol craft over the South China Sea. One of those could go horribly wrong. Um, also, we got to remember that there are now three large militaries in close proximity to each other, China's, Taiwan's, and ours. Anything can happen. So while we shouldn't discount the possibility of an invasion, um, and that's a complex subject, nonetheless, I think that there is a real and immediate risk of war, one which the Pentagon is not alive to. I want to ask you about the U.S. conducting these military drills with the Philippines and Australia. We know it involves some 17,000 uh, troops. And then China sent out a warning uh, after learning of this. What do you make of this warning? How could China respond? Uh, China can't respond. Um, this is uh, something that, you know, they'll huff and puff, something that they don't like. Um, but the U.S. is conducting exercises with a treaty ally. And um, the Chinese have basically lost the Philippines. Under the previous President Duterte, um, China was wooing Manila and was actually um, distancing the Philippines from the U.S. Um, but the, the Chinese pushed too far. The Philippines has a new president. Um, and now uh, China has very much lost a lot of influence in Manila. So then, Gordon, what, if anything, would deter Chinese President Xi Jinping at this point? How should the administration be handling this? I think that we should uh, publicly declare that we will defend Taiwan, um, and we should start uh, prepositioning some supplies on the island, something that we really didn't do with regard to Ukraine. Um, we should be sending deterrence messages. Unfortunately, though, the Biden administration has been um, engaging in all sorts of diplomacy that has really encouraged uh, Beijing. Because um, Xi Jinping now believes that the U.S. is finished as a global factor. So Xi is engaging in very provocative conduct. We can stop it by disabusing him of his notions that China now rules the world. And what are some things that you were watching for specifically? I think the most important thing is internally inside China, um, there have been some really disturbing events recently. Um, and um, when you look at the Chinese economy, which is much weaker than most people think, I think that gives Xi Jinping um, incentive because he's got a closing window of opportunity. Um, he knows he's got all these problems at home and it's not just the economy. That could force him to do something belligerent externally to distract the Chinese people.
So, so I'm looking at what's happening inside the country. China expert columnist and author Gordon Chang, always a pleasure to see you and get your expertise. Have a great weekend. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Jen.